I'm going to give you two reasons why Tom Holland's Spider-Man may never see the MCU again. What is up, everybody? Jimmy here. Welcome to the multiverse. Now, we did a video the other day talking about the debacle that is Spider-Man 3, Tom Holland, Sony Pictures, and Marvel. And I'm here to, I don't want to be the bearer of bad news, but I also want to be uh, in a realistic mind state. Now, it has been reported that they are still working and negotiating. And James Gunn, that's right, James Gunn, the director of the Guardians of the Galaxies, says they are working their crap out. So that has to be good news, right? Well, I'm going to give you two reasons why I don't think it's going to happen. What's going to be funny is this video is going to go up and then there's going to be news announced that it happened. And maybe if that's the case, maybe I'm the catalyst and they went completely opposite of what I said and we got it done. Because I personally want Spidey to reside in the MCU. Now, the first reason makes a lot of sense. The second one is kind of my little conspiracy theory, which we will get into in just a second. So the first one is pretty easy, okay? Sony is in a good spot. The Spider-Verse and Venom were hits. They uh, they kind of brought them back to, uh, to the top where they were used to being in the past after they went through everything they did with their renditions of Spider-Man. Uh, and those, those made money. Okay, but they were still considered failures. Well, Spider-Verse Spider -Verse has a long way to go. They're going to get a lot of mileage out of that. And Venom, of course, we know. That absolutely shattered at the box off. And we do know from San Quentin Prison at the end of Venom that Cletus Cassidy, played by Woody Harrelson, will be Carnage in Venom 2. He will be one of the main, if not the main, villain. So uh, Venom 2 is set as well. So Sony's thinking, you know what? We may not be the MCU. We may not be Avengers Endgame, 1.3 billion in a weekend or whatever it was, but we're not in a bad spot. We have some leverage. We own the Spider-Man entity now. We don't have to give in to whatever Marvel is asking for. 25%, 30%, 50-50 cut. We don't have to do it. And that mindset tells me that they're not going to budge as much as people think they are. Now, the other reason is way out there. But I want you to hear me out really quick. A lot of you are probably video game fans like myself. And you're probably very familiar with the one company that doesn't like to play nice and get into cross-play and unite gamers together. And guess what company that is? It's Sony. Now, Sony Pictures is not Sony, but they are all under the same entity, the same umbrella. I'm going to assume the brass at the top encompasses everybody. So their mindset is, we can do it on our own. We don't have to unite if we don't want to. Think about it. Every game is getting cross-play. Xbox is getting on board, Nintendo Switch, PC. They're all doing their things, but Sony is always out there with the PlayStation saying, nah, nah, we're good. We'll sit on this island and do it ourselves." And I don't know. I just feel like there's going to be some repercussions with that mindset that go over into their sister company, Sony Pictures. I feel like they've bolstered their confidence with Spider-Verse, with Venom. They're saying, you know what? We don't have to play with the MCU. Actually, the MCU is our competition. We need to start taking steps to solidify ourselves a foothold in this comic industry. And for that reason, I, I, I don't know. I don't think they are going to give in. I really don't. I want them to. I'm hoping these negotiations come through and it makes sense for them because it makes sense for the fans. But I'll tell you right now, corporate brass and those people at the top, they don't necessarily look at what's best for the fans in any industry, whether that be the music industry, the entertainment industry, the gaming industry. They look at the bottom line and the projected revenue and growth for their stockholders, plain and simple. But, but maybe, maybe I'm completely wrong. Fingers crossed. You guys, let me know what you think in the comment section. And in closing, a little a little tidbit here for you. Did you know that Tom Holland, Peter Parker, actually filmed a cameo to be in Venom? But Marvel didn't let it go through. So there's some bad blood there, guys. There is some bad blood. We could have seen that crossover way, way earlier. And on, on the good side, if Sony doesn't make a deal... Well, we're going to get Spider-Man versus Venom much, much sooner. I hope you guys have a great day. Drop a like. Welcome to the multiverse. Make sure to turn on those notifications, and I'll see you soon.